Good morning. I missed you guys yesterday. Luckily, it's no longer storming here. It's just freezing cold. Let's see. Let me get shared. Okay. Declan is home from school today because he is sick. He's talking about Elf on the Shelf. His baby brothers and sisters came to visit. Just getting this shared. How's everyone doing this morning? Let me get my iPad. I time traveled back to last night, hoping that I could get back to the party, but it did not work. I'm wondering if anybody else has gone past 30 vacation homes. Do you get um Do you get more parties? Good morning, Krista. I did my 30th vacation home last night. I thought I was going to do it on stream last week, but when I got done it must have been 29. So basically, your reward is like a KK rave. And I'll be posting pictures and video clips later because it was absolutely one of the, my favorite things this game has ever done. I literally sat and danced to this KK concert for over an hour last night. As you can see, I'm wearing my rave wear still. Okay, let's see who's on the beach. I saw someone interesting, then I time traveled backwards, and I'm afraid I might have lost him. No, Diana. No. I always forget that the DLC gives you a beach bottle every day, too. Krista, it was the cutest thing ever. Um, literally got small videos of me dancing with Stitches specifically and like just whoever was out there. I got some pictures and videos with. I don't like Diana. We don't get along. Um, so we're not going to build her a vacation house. Let's see. Ooh, Sprocket. That's interesting. Factory that makes robots or machines would be awesome. He's interesting. Stitches is my baby, too. I have some cute video clips I'm going to post in a little bit. I might try to post them to TikTok. I don't know how to do that, but I might try. We're just checking to see who's available to build a vacation home for right now. 
So in order to unlock the KK rave, you have to build 30 villager homes, I mean vacation homes, and have all your facilities open. The last facility is the apparel shop. Oh, Pippi. I want her. I want her to be a villager on my island at some point. I'm going to leave. Try to come back to where she's where I can get to her. When you set up your diners and stuff, you should consider that if you um if you can't reach villagers, you can't talk to them. So this is the apparel shop, which I'm going to rename Pineapple Express because I feel like Fresh Express is where you get salads, personally. Um, but this is mine. We have a dressing room back here. Mirrors, racks of clothing, shoes. Annalise works here. I made Zucker at home last night. The items on display you can buy every day in the apparel shop. Everything else is just for looks. So these mannequins right here and the two heads, you can have up to six. So I decided to do two of each. Oh my goodness, Krista, we need to visit Zucker's house, but he, we can't because he's shopping, I think. Um, who's back here? Roscoe and Renee, I think they coupled up. They are roommates, and they're so cute. They're always together now. What are they doing with shovels right here on the edge? They're not even doing anything. Silly geese. Okay, let's see if Pippi is able to to be talked to now. Ah, she went to the inside of a different table. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. So I made Zucker a carnival, but... Like, his outside was a carnival. He wanted a festival. Um, coupling up. Krista, in the um, DLC, you can... You can... Give them roommates. So, I made Roscoe and Renee roommates. So, this is Zucker's fun house. This is his bedroom of his fun house. And downstairs is like... um. An arcade and outside is like a carnival. It looks like we can visit. So I made Roscoe and Renee roommates. And I just, now they hang out all the time. I've made other um, villagers roommates and they don't hang out as much. But, um... Those two hang out all the time, so I feel like they are now a couple, just because. So this is Zucker's um, carnival. This is little, like, slushy arcade, kind of. It's kind of more carnival-y. We've got your little toy dispenser over here. Popcorn. Slushiest in the background. Yes, yeah, Zucker, Zucker is a spoiled Octo baby. And look, I polished his furniture to make it have this bubbly effect. Um, I loved doing his upstairs. 
So he has a foosball table. I usually give my um, vacationers like a spa or a bathtub. Since he's a baby, he got him a nice little squeaky pool. Um, I was going to do the car bed, but when I put the shell bed out, he went... He did little hearts over his head, like he absolutely loved it, so I just made the shell bed yellow so it matched better. So, yep, this is Zucker's home. I'm going to tell him bye. What's he going to give me? They usually give you a gift of whichever room. One of their rooms that you designed, like a wallpaper or floor. Or a rug, something out of one of the rooms that you designed for them. So he gave me a circus wall, which we use down here. So Zucker's one that I've always been curious about having on one of my islands, but I never ran into him at the right time. I was looking for themed villagers for Juniper, and I never ran into him when I was hunting on Tripti, I don't think, unless I was looking specifically for someone. Okay. I do want to tell you guys something about the DLC that I did not know, and I just went outside. Hold on. <laughs> so, um, once you've bought enough items with Pokey from Wardell, which are these items right here, I suggest just buying them every day. Once you buy enough... Okay, you can unlock this catalog, which we did know about, but it has all the things that you've used, plus a lot of things that you already have cataloged. Maybe everything that you already have cataloged. Uh, but the unique thing is the novelty section has um, Paradise Planning specific things. Which are super cute, by the way. I ordered five last night. I love this rug, so I went ahead and just ordered a second one. Um, go ahead and order a second one of those. And you can get the phone case, which they give you for free. But if you have other characters on your island, you can get your own for your other character. Um, there was something that I wanted to order, but I don't remember what. But most of these are items that I have never had that I literally just used on Paradise Planning. So, it's a good way to grow your catalog because you will use a lot of these items when you're building homes. I can't remember what the thing was that I wanted to order last night. I'm sure it'll come to me. The cartons are really cute. They're actually quite large compared to some of the other foods as well. If you're looking for something for a kitchen that's kind of bigger. Cube lights are awesome. Ooh, that's pretty. The variations are just the stand, but I think you can change the plate itself. I think I've used a gold one before.
trying to remember what it was that I wanted to order so bad and couldn't because I had already ordered everything. Oh well. I thought it was here, but... Pad Krapow! I love Pad Krapow. Oh, it was... Look at this piggy bank I've never seen before. Okay. I'll be done with that for now. You can only order five things a day from your Paradise Planning catalog. So, make sure that if you want to keep growing your catalog for your island, that you do that. And Paradise Planning, it doesn't matter if you've only ever seen one of the items, one color variation, all the colors unlock in the game. Um, oh, this is the school. This is not where I wanted to go. Sorry. I've been wondering where she knows Ben. She must like school because I never see her on the island hanging out. Come on, Pippi. Be where I want you to be. She probably wants a farm. I love farm builds. Yay! There she is. Convenience store. Nah. I think I'm going to give you a carrot farm. I'm going to give her a farmer's market. I'm not up on the lingo, Pippi. I'm never up on the lingo. She's cute. I wanted her for Juniper eventually. Okay, so I like this area for farms. I don't know if we can do two, more than two on a plot. I haven't tried. This one would be cute, too. Let's put her up here with Shino. Or, let's see. Mm. Just want to double check my options. We're going to put her with Shino. I like to do two levels so the bottom level can be like a themed place and the upstairs can be their bedroom. Rockin' and rollin'. If you guys haven't checked the Tripty Design Studio YouTube lately, check it out. I moved a lot of our tutorials there from the Facebook page. Okay, first things first, let's make the house what we want it to look like. You can't custom design the ones that are like our house unless you fully upgrade it. 
I'm not sure how I feel about this design. I've seen a lot of people using it. It feels like a duplex to me, though. I want something that's like a compromise between farm style and cottagey. Maybe this red brick. She seems like a neutrals kind of gal, though. This is cute. I like this one. Let's go with a black roof. Or I like this one. Um, Declan thinks that one's too dark. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. I think I like this one. I like doors with a peephole, so I always give my peeps a peephole of some kind. I think I like this style the best. And because she's a cute little bunny, should she have decoration on her door? I feel like the pansies are cute. Okay, so let's get started by making the carrot patch. We're going to make the farm area down here. Okay. She wanted a convenience store, so I'm going to compromise and give her a farmer's market, but I want her to have some of her own produce, Declan. It kind of bothers me if that's off-centered with the stairs, but if I center it with the stairs, it's going to cover the other stairs, so we're just going to we're just going to roll with it. A little bit of barbed wire fence for aesthetic. Somebody told me they did not care for the barbed wire fence. I told them they probably were using too much of it. You just need to use a little bit for aesthetic. Uh... Okay, I'd rather just go ahead and put them in and then replicate what I want. I have a few pumpkins. Okay. I like to have the short carrots in the front because they're so adorable and we don't want to hide them. Cool thing about this DLC is see how your tomato plant has one or two. You can go to whichever one you want multiples of and right click and it will multiply it. The same with weeds and glowing moss. It'll multiply the specific one you want. I think we're going to do the pumpkins up here kind of more as a decoration. Okay. 
Or we could do like a little pumpkin patch and skip on the potatoes and sugar. What do we think? All the crops or potatoes, I mean carrots and tomatoes and then a pumpkin patch kind of deal. I don't like yellow pumpkins so you usually won't see me using them. I personally think the pumpkins are cuter, so I'm probably going to stick with that. Let's see, we need some other farm equipment. Let's find some farm equipment. So this is like the third garden type build I've done, but this one's definitely going to be more. We might do the farmer's market inside with like a stand or one or, one or two stands out here. Um, not seeing what I want. Oh, we need some of these. Just make like a honey stand out here because I have good honey stand. Design saved. Okay. Pirate stuff. I don't know if we have room for a tractor. Let's go for something smaller to start with. I didn't see the feed bags. Let's see, we'll need this if we're going to have a honey stand. I love these milk jugs. I did not know you could do custom custom on them. So you can change the color in the background and you can put a logo on it. I kind of like this one with the white. Uh, we could do some of this. These are cute um, Sinmaizuki barrels, I think is how you said that. Sinmaizuki? Sinmaizuki? I'm looking for the seed bags. There they are. Stacked bags, but plain black, plain green, light brown, plant soil, lime, beans. I really like the beans one. Okay, so this will be cute right up here. You can walk through this and I really love that about it. So, whoops. I'm going to cut that fence down for now. Maybe just put one piece right here. I 
Naturally, if we're going to have some bees, we're going to need some flowers over here. Trying to decide which side I like best. I really like the honeycomb side best, but I don't want them both to face in the same way. Okay. Go over here to your flowers. Something that you might not know about the flowers in the DLC is once you plant them, you can change what they look like. Like, some people like to use the red pansies to make what looks like strawberry plants. Yes, the customi custom ability of the DLC is the best. Like, honestly, um, it makes it makes me not want to build things on my own island in my house because it's so much easier on the DLC. No, I don't think I want the red hyacinths. I'm trying to decide which flowers go better. I think definitely the red, the yellow, the white and yellow, and then the orange. I think we'll stick with those three. Okay, so. Can we move that back at all? Yes. Is that too much? No. Okay. I don't like how far away you have to put plants from the front of the house. So if you wanted to change the flowers, you just push X to change what stage of life they're in. And then right trigger to multiply it. Use right trigger to multiply anything. Nope, won't go back there. You can put it here. Kind of liked having that one right there too. That's cute. Let's move this up here. It's too big to go up there, but... I like to make it movable, so try to make sure the path is walkable. We need, oh, whoops, we need a honey pot. Hmm. I think she might be the type that likes a pumpkin stool, too. I love how they cheer you on when you put stuff down that they like. I'm not sure how random it is, but I like to think that that means you're doing awesome. Basically, I've resorted to only decorating the outside of my island. However, I will say that... I've converted Luna's house into a full-on fairy house, and I'm still working on that. And I created a second character on Juniper named Mom, who will have, like, a mom's item type store. And we're going to, um, I just need to collect more mom's items before I can finish that. I've been looking for mom's candles and the mom's paintings and other mom's items. Um, I might take one of these. I'm looking for the clay pot, which I've made thousands of, so it should be here. Feels like it should be here, but these are all stone items, so... More stone. There's vases, but no clay pot. Hopefully I didn't pass it like four times. Maybe it's not in housewares. Yep, 
You would think it would be. There's so many new food items, too. Your happy homes are awful. I bet they're not. Um, I think it takes a little bit of, like, just, like, I, I go out of my personal decorating style sometimes, most of the time, for happy homes because I like something a little more far out and abstract, and I'm trying to give them something that I think matches their personality and not mine. Um, I love using bugs as decoration. I think this one fits on this on this aesthetic. There's the pot. I usually stick with the original brown. I think I will. Okay. And then with the pot, I usually stick some kind of food item like an orange or something. Something that goes well with honey. Like tea. I'm wondering if th I haven't found it yet and there's jars of honey. Um, I haven't found all the food items yet. You'll only get like a certain amount per day to unlock. I think this could look like honey. We'll try. No. Like the original wood. I do have custom designs for honey. We're going to go with darker wood because it blends in too much. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so we're going to put these bags over here. And this butterfly. I like to create borders that aren't intended to be borders sometimes. Find it fun. So we have these um, pumpkins. Let's get some flowers, some more flowers. That's exactly where I wanted that to go. What a coincidence. Where did that go? Oh, they're going behind. Eh, that's a little overkill. Let's stick with the two pansies. Maybe put some down this side. I don't like that they keep popping up around back here. It's a little bit annoying. Maybe one more for depth. There we go. Okay, so I think that jar of yellow glowing moss does resemble honey very well. So check some comments. Krista, honestly, you guys, I am not a big fan of restarting. 
Um, I just want to put that out there. I think that if you're unhappy, you could, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people that restarted and it gave them more motivation, but I know a lot of people that are like, like that Krista who restarted and completely lost all motivation to play. So, um, my feelings about restarting are don't, don't lose all your items. Don't flatten your whole island. Do a little bit at a time. Completely tear down an area you're not happy with. And then rebuild it to your new theme. And then do that again and again. In case y'all can't tell, I really love orange pansies. Um, but that's my advice to anybody that's thinking about restarting. You lose all your DIYs. You lose your whole catalog. You lose all your bells. And um, to me, it just seems like a way better idea to just start taking down pieces of your island until it's completely transformed. So, like, say you're going to go for a desert theme. And you want to restart, but you could just literally start at your entrance and start changing to that desert theme. You do not have to restart to do that. Kind of want to switch those. I like to hide bees in the flowers, but because there's not as much depth as I'm used to here, we're just going to do them a different kind of way. Gonna put this one amongst the flowers. You can put things on top of the stacked bags. I might put a. I think we can access watering cans. I'm not sure where they're at. Other. I think Pippi seems like the colorful watering can type. Orange. Doesn't cover our bee up. I think that's good. I think that's a good outside for her. And we're going to start the farmer's market inside. But she has a honey stand. She has a little farm here. Um... I could do her a little log path to brighten up the ground. I tend to stick with the same paths, but I don't see that there's anything wrong with that. So yeah, if restarting is your jam and you feel like you want to start completely over, to me, that would kill my motivation to have to, when I started this island, uh, Juniper, it was a restart basically because I didn't have anything. It was a brand new switch. Um, but I had my other island to bring stuff to this island if I needed to. I think you can do a lot of changing to your island without restarting, though, personally. And when you do restart, we're here for you with the stuff to help you. I think that's the perfect path for her. Oh, this is so cute. This is why I wanted Pippi on my island. I'm really glad that she showed up on Paradise Planning today. Krista, with the new desert stuff, if you like that aesthetic, you could really go with, like, a mostly flat island. Um, I feel like we need a pretty big area for the farmer's market. We're going to start with an 8 by 10 
Um, let's see. I'm pretty obsessed with doing the, uh, the background as, like, a window to the outside, but... Concession stand wall, frozen foods freezer wall. I'm not sure that's going to see, like, we could do like that with... Farmer's market. Usually they're outside anyways, right? Or the ones I go to are. Do log cabin. And this is how I gauge if I like it. I put up the partition walls to see how it looks together because um, naturally you're not going to be spinning the room that much. Yeah. I think this will do. Let's get the floor settled. Common flooring and old board flooring have a great feel for me. Um, no. There's a dirt floor that I recently used that I kind of like. Um, we could do the sidewalk flooring. Nope, not the right button. Mm, not my fave. The wooden knot flooring matches this wall really well. Carrie said she lost love for the game. Max Bells and it took the fun out. You didn't like the layout or half the villagers either. Well, Carrie, it works different for everyone. Yeah, Krista, I do um I like to call them island consultations. I can do them on stream live or just come to your island, just me, if you'll, like, call me or be on a text with me. That way I can chat with you about it while I'm there. But um, I, I help people kind of reorganize or regroup all the time just because it can be overwhelming. Let's see, stuff that I've already used should be down here. I don't have a lot of farmer's market stands. I do have an ice cream sta stall. I was thinking something that would just be cohesive for everyone. I have a flower stall. I kind of like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, we could do multiples of those. Oh, that's interesting. You can do presents, too. DIYs, gyroids. Um, let's get some tomatoes. Um, I haven't tried this yet. Let's see if it works. I think it's here. Yes, you just have to exit the, um, well, let's go ahead and do the other one while we're at it. Okay.
But yes, Krista, I can help you with that. Sorry, I got distracted trying to find stuff. Okay, Carrie. Um, well, um, Carrie, I am doing these streams from about 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. Monday and Tuesday, and I hope to start on Thursday. But um, Wednesday mornings or Thursday mornings as of right now, I could help you. I know that you're in a different time zone, but if you're on right now, if this is a typical time that you're able to be on, we can work that out. So um, you just have to decide. You really just have to decide what kind of um, style you want. Do you want your villagers to have their own themed areas? Do you want um, everything to be the same theme, regardless of who your villagers are? I think that's a good, like, there's an aisleway, there's enough booths. Okay, let's find some more produce for the produce stand up here in the front. Looks like we are sorted by colors here, maybe it looked like it. Okay, we're going to do like some of these guys. Carrots, carrots, carrots. There's some potatoes. Peach. I love peaches. They're so cute. Oranges. Am I not seeing the carrots? Did I miss them? Did we not get carrots? That's unfortunate. Well, some things are just like organized by color where we've got other things just randomly thrown in here all willy-nilly. There's the carrots. Okay. So we're gonna, nope, not you. Put the carrots and tomatoes over here. I wanna have all of these together, so. Since we don't have a thing for a basket of those, we'll put like a small table. Okay. Yeah, my son is homesick also. Three PM there. Well, I can work out different times too. I'm um currently a stay at home mom. My Three-year-old goes to um, pre-K from 7.30 to 10.30 every day. Why is everything sorted weird? There we go. So, after 10.30, I'm a little more busy because he's a lot. <laughs> but, um... I can usually fit in if I need to do something. Uh, something of a different level that's a little bit shorter than that. Perhaps. That blends in too much. Okay, that looks weird on top of it. Let's, I feel like, I feel like that's cute with the bigger one. 
I'm going to set up like a little spot to eat because a lot of the farmers markets around here have a cute little setup to eat. So we're going to set that up in our window area. Yeah. Yeah, my um my 8-year-old his schedule is 7 7:30 until 2. So I get that. He's currently sitting behind me, halfway watching me, halfway doing his own thing. Should we do the bistro table? Or the turkey day table? I feel like the turkey day table is too big. Yeah, the bistro table is perfect. I know a lot of people have been struggling to find the right chair for the bistro table. I want to point out that the natural garden chair looks great instead so of the metal and wood chairs. I think today I'm going to go with the natural garden chair. I've done a mix of both. Okay, we need to set up the rest of our booths. We're going to see what kind of food items we have in miscellaneous. I think it's always a great idea to have a stand with some fruit juice. Maybe a bakery stand. Ooh, pies. Those are always a good choice. Okay, I've pulled out a lot of stuff. Let's see what we got. I'm going to put the potato away. I think the single carrot and tomato easily replaced by a fruit basket and a shopping bag. I kind of want to do the pies, so Mm. Guys, excuse me one sec.
Sorry about that. Okay. Where do we leave off? We need some things of different levels, maybe. I feel like that one table is a little bit too tall to put in front of them. We could, in fact, make another one of these for each. sidewall back here since it felt like I didn't have quite enough booths. Um, let's see, there is, I should have access to everything I've ever crafted, so I'm looking for a jack-o'-lantern to turn backwards. Oh, I wanted one of these. Or a couple of those. Okay. Maybe some of these. What do we got here? You can choose custom patterns. Hmm. I like that. I feel like that's very Pippi style. I don't want the grocery um, baskets because they filled like two grocery stores to me. Peach surprise box is cute. I really want a jack-o'-lantern. Doesn't matter what the face looks like. I'm going to turn it backwards. Um, so you don't just find food at a farmer's market. You often find like handmade goods that are um, related to things on a farm. So to add some things to different levels in here. Anybody seen this shell music box? Isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love it. Let's do one of these. Okay. So let's organize what we've got here. Perhaps put these kind of to create that different level. I don't really love this table here. Okay, I feel like this has plenty of depth, personally. We could put one of these on the other side as well. I want to make sure it's passable. I don't like creating spaces that we can't pass through. And it's not quite. So we're going to move these two booths up a little bit. Oh, I forgot that wheat decor was there. There we go.
See if that makes it a little more passable. Can't pass through here without sitting on the stool, but we can get to the bistro table now. I think this is a cute farmer's market setup. You got your produce stand, your pie stand. Could you some fruit juice? Some fresh baked bread, some handmade items. Some mushrooms, some honey, some more handmade items. Let's go make Pippi's bedroom. Okay, so I think a six by eight is probably big enough for most bedrooms. However, I've done them bigger and smaller depending on the character and their theme. We're going to keep the log cabin wall upstairs. Um, we might give her this fall themed vista. But I really like the rice paddy wall for her. It just seems to fit her. So I might stick with that. So I always do at least two partition walls. We're probably going to do a few of these. Okay. Let's get the floor. No, it was the not, would not, yeah. Okay. And let's see if we can get her a nice rug. Is this the Paradise Planning rug? No. This is very homey. We'll see. So we're going to create that window effect. This uh, A lot of people are calling this the balcony. Um, it depends on what you're creating. I feel like it's more of a window, personally. Use the low counters or the tall ones to create the whole window. Um, I've been doing two pillars so because the counter is too wide to be up next to the wall and it, it like lips over. This is the Turkey Day rug. You probably should have earned it from the Turkey Day event this year or last year. I know that Carrie just restarted, but... Um, Krista has played in the past, but hasn't played recently. Okay, so let's find her a cute bed. Passing a lot of things I want to use. Because I want to st stay in an organized frame of thought. I think the wooden simple bed's pretty, or the ranch style stuff would be her style. I don't want all the wood to be the same color though. Let's do dark brown. Um, oh, the antique bed would be cute for her too. Let's see. Trying to center it with the window, if you can't tell. Let's 
or I like to set the bed up. Like if you go to a luxury cabin, um, oftentimes the bed is where you can see out the beautiful, big, huge window when you wake up in the morning. Some people would like that. Some people would find that very annoying to have the sun coming in in the morning. I haven't done any events since Easter. If you want, um, you guys can, if you are into time travel at all, the, the, um, Turkey Day event was on November 25th and you can redo it. Ooh, this one might be her too. No. Oh, that one does look like a cabin bed. I really love that quilt. Okay. Sorry. But this keeps us from having wood that's all the same color, too. Maybe we'll do that as, like, her fireplace and sitting area over there. And do her bedroom over here. Kind of more private. Not, like, too private, I guess. That way, if she did want to have some company upstairs, we always have a sitting area for them. So, like, this color kind of matches that bed. Tad bit more space. There we go. And then we'll set her up a fireplace. I love the Turkey Day fireplace. I feel like it's a little more festive than the other ones. We're going to go with the Harvest one, even though the Spring one's super cute. So I'm just kind of envisioning the place that we go. We go to the mountains and we stay in a cabin is Gatlinburg, Tennessee. So I'm just kind of channeling Gatlinburg for a minute. All the decorators in Gatlinburg are obsessed, obsessed with bears, so you find bears on everything. Everything is very off-centered right now. I like that. Let's see, the rocking chair, do we have one here? We up here with the chairs, I think. I need to order me some of these. These are super cute. I wish we could put this chair at an angle. It is what it is. find something cute to put on top of our fireplace. Um, 
the owl clock really fits this aesthetic. So you guys, you can um, I forgot what I was going to say. It'll come back to me. Completely. Just, phew, it's gone. Um, house plants, I don't think they're in here. I can't believe that thought just completely left my brain. I can because it's me, but... If you have one of those patchwork beds or any other furniture item that you really like, but you really would like to have a different style of, then you can take it to Cyrus to get it recolored. Um, that's not what I was going to say. Maybe it'll come back to me. Oh, you can get the glow in the dark sticker DIY. And you can create actual window with your areas. So, like, say you like this window set up, but you want it to have, like, French doors. You could actually customize, get the custom design. I have some posted in um, Tripty Gaming Lounge. I have some of the window sticker custom designs. And you just have to customize it to the window and literally you can put it on the wall. I've seen people go as far as to um, make somebody made a wallpaper and the window and they used like the meadow vista so that the mountain was in the background but they had a window and they had wallpaper around it and it was absolutely gorgeous. So Keep in mind, those things are possible. Papa bear, giant teddy bear. I like a small bear, maybe. My favorite mama bear. Oh no, my favorite bear is the green floral. But, um... It doesn't look like that's an option. Or it is, but I haven't found it yet. See, that's a bit bigger than I wanted. I wanted to put it on the windowsill, but I think... It's very cute, so we're going to keep it. Get another one of these. No, not that. I want the whole floor. To put up here. I think the owl might be the only thing we want on the window, so it's very cute right there in the middle. I don't want, if you hear it, it's cuckooing. It must be the change of an hour. I don't want all of the table decor to be the acorn lamp. So I'm looking for something else to put on top of the fireplace. Maybe one of those old-fashioned clocks. I mean, radios would be cute. So, Krista, I started Juniper around Easter of this year. I feel like it might have been last year because the last time when I first started talking to you about Animal Crossing, you said you hadn't played in a while then unless you started playing again after that. And that was before I had Juniper. Hmm. 
True story, I almost forgot what I was looking for. Oh, this cute little tree would be cute. Um, it's already white, so let's go with the brown. Or we could do the Christmas one. We'll see which one looks better. I think that looks cute there, but since we're in December, maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a few little Christmas trees, huh? Should we customize them to be a little different? I just am more of a purist when it comes to a Christmas tree. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it happens. I get that other people get distracted. I am really, really into this game more than any of the other games that I play. So, um, what do you guys think? I think that it's pretty done up here. I think it's very cute. It reminds me of a cabin in Gatlinburg. It's a skinny squeeze, but you can still get into the bed. It's passable. Got a cute little rocking chair that we could sit in and possibly turn around to look out the window if we wanted to. Got our wood log sofa with our bears in our fireplace. A little bit of Christmas tree. Perhaps, instead of this shufflera thing, we could do a bigger Christmas tree right here. Excuse me for going so fast, if that bothers anyone. I feel like that's the perfect size. This seems like a little bit too big. Whoops. I don't know why I keep grabbing the rug. I don't know. I think the bigger one might actually work. Let's see. Mm. It just takes away everything behind it. I think that one's good enough. We'll take away the shuffler. And then I, I kind of want to do a small table or something beside this tree at the entrance. We could do... That might be too big to go there. Um, it's not too bad. It's just not what I'm looking for. Already has a clock. Antique clock would be cute there, though. <laughs> yeah, Carrie, I'm the same. <laughs> I I spend hours and hours on this game. Maybe a record player. 
Kind of like it facing this way, even though it's technically facing a wall. You don't like the record player? I don't care for the noise either. It's just whatever it started playing. Ooh, this would be cute there. I don't like it. It's too tall. OCD is a funny thing, my friends. <laughs> um, until it's not. Small tables. We have so much wood. It's kind of nice to break that up with something else. No. Ooh, the snow globe is nice. <coughs> okay, I like it. <coughs> I think I'm done. Yeah, I um I never started playing Genshin. I should have. Um I think this is perfect. Let's go downstairs to turn it in because I do want the farmer's market aesthetic to be part of the name. So when you turn in your design and you tell them that you're finished, that's where they're going to take that nice picture for you that says the title of the piece, the, the what you've designed, your title. We're just going to call it Farmer's Market. Because every time I try to put the character's name in there with like a something bigger like Farmer's Market, those are bigger words, um, there's not enough space. So this is the picture I'm talking about um, because you only get one picture or one area for your title to pop up on and you want it to be which area matches your theme the best. Don't take too many pictures during this time or it will knock your picture with your title out of your thing. Wait till it's over. Take more pictures after it's done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and choose that so we don't accidentally knock it out. If you choose the picture for your site, then you can take as many pictures as you want and you don't have to worry about it accidentally making a picture that you didn't want the main picture.
Okay, so I'm going to move her. You cannot use amiibos when you're not using the original Joy-Cons. I'm going to move her like she's working at the pie stand. Trying to learn how to take the best pictures indoors, like getting out of the staircase and making sure that the pictures are very precise. Okay, so we're going to go take a few upstairs too. Nope, you downloaded too many unnecessary games on that phone, son. I'm going to see what she does naturally. If she doesn't do anything that I like, like I don't want a picture of her butt. Like this is a terrible... This works. So like she's here, but she's not the main focus of the picture. Now we're going to... Take one that makes her more in the focus. Get a little bit of her bedroom in the background. Very cute. And take her outside. I love how her yard turned out. I really like to see <clears throat> how they interact with the space without you making them. See, she looks like she's working in the garden. That's very adorable. Gonna mess with the lighting a little bit because it's outside and sometimes different lighting gives it a better look. Yes, yeah, she loves it. We expected her to love it. Um, we're just getting some extra pictures for giggles. I like to have extras so that I can use them to post on the page and stuff when I actually do my uploads. Tell her that I'm rolling out. See who else is on the island today. We have time for maybe one more. So after your 30th home, it doesn't go up yet. I thought that I would start earning more pokey, but that's fine. You can turn pokey into bells, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, because you can have, you get more access to bells than you get the pokey currency. So, um, if, if you had that thought, I would not. If you need bells, let let somebody know. We'll get you some bells. Um, Diana's not my friend. She's beautiful. She's adorable. She's just not nice. Got a jungle theme. No. No, sorry. If they're not cute, if I don't like them, then I just don't create the homes for them. Um, there was um, what looked like a, a chameleon on the island before I went time. I time traveled back to see if the little party, the KK party, was still going on from the 30th house, but it did not work that way. There's Sprocket. He's neat. I always was interested in him, so we can make him a little robot factory. There's some interesting new... Um,
We're going to go with his theme so it opens up all the robot things, but we're going to do our own thing with it. Um, there's a lot of new, like, machine stuff that a lot of people haven't played with. I personally have not. Let's see what he's got. See, there's some of the different things. I'm not sure that they're my favorite, but that's part of the DLC is like exploring things so you wouldn't normally robot factory on the rocks. Definitely don't want to give a robot factory one of my favorite spots. There's one. We change the season. Zort. What a weird catchphrase. He's a jock. That's why I've never had him on one of my islands. Although he would fit right in and with the trippy theme on Trip D. Okay, first things first, let's make this house. I mean, this isn't my favorite setup, but that city dwelling kind of theme could go well for this. I just don't love it. No. I don't think that any of the houses are going to like scream factory. Could do more of like a Santa's workshop than a factory. I think that would be neat. Let's go that direction. Let's turn it from Robo Factory to Christmas Workshop. And that's why I love this stuff, because you can literally see all this machine stuff that we never had before. Okay. I personally like the blue. Okay, and let's get some Christmas decorations because this is now Santa's robot factory. You got hijacked by Santa Sprocket. Yeah. 
You just never know where my brain's going to take something. Like, sure, we'll build you a robot factory, a.k.a. Santa's workshop. The rainbow tree's my favorite, but I think we're going to do the red and the green. Slay. And a few reindeer. And some presents. Okay, now this looks like the most random assortment of stuff, but let's see if we can put it together right. We're going to put these with the more traditional tree. Um, I, I don't want to lie to you and tell you that I know, Krista. <laughs> I haven't looked into it. I do know that by December 15th, we will have, um, our islands will be covered in snow. I also know that last year, I think it was like on Christmas. I don't like how the illuminated stuff doesn't light up until you like walk around and turn it on. I don't love that about the DLC. Whoops. Sometimes I push B to exit something that shouldn't be. Toy Day stuff is already in the shops. So I, I really think that they do it on Christmas, to be honest. Okay, looks Santa's workshoppy. Getting there. Maybe make this tree more of a focal point here. I wish that I could. There we go. Don't have any Christmas paths yet, so we'll see what we do have. And we're going to go back to the things that he likes and add some of those. Okay. Maybe we need that conveyor belt. Comes in different colors. Let's see. White, black, yellow, Green. Can put stuff on it. Perhaps we'll put some presents at the foot of it. 
No. But more robots will work. See what other toys we can add to it. Are toys miscellaneous? I thought they would be. Could do a rubber ducky. Oh, your island is covered in snow already on the eleventh. Um, I heard it was from the eleventh to the fifteenth, so we right on schedule. I uh, don't like the snow. I wish that I did, but it it hurts my eyes. So I will do. I might stay in fall until closer to Christmas, and then once. Christmas is over. Like last year, I went from Christmas to um, spring pretty quickly. Like I didn't stick around for that snow. Oh gosh, I I would say so. Um, I don't remember terraforming in the snow much. Like I said last year, it hurt my eyes to play in the snow, and because I love the game so much, I just I just went to spring. I did cherry blossom season three times last year and loved every minute of it. I don't want to put this in front of the robot. Today is the seventh, yes. Okay, let's put this up here. I think. What else can we put up there? Maybe another one of these? No. I don't love how this is in an L shape, so everything has to be lined up up here, so I'm just going to leave it. And does the tree block our factory? Should we move it here? I think so. Okay, I like our toy factory so far. Yeah, I like the different colors of fall. Um, <laughs> updating your game. Yay, Krista, we got her back on Team Animal Crossing, maybe. <laughs> um, I, um, I like to save my dream address for Juniper at dawn in fall, summer, and spring because dawn complements the colors of my island the best. But I probably, last year I did one for Tripti and Tripti is my other island on my son's switch before I had my own switch. Last year I did saves for every season and that was cool, but it just, I just don't love the the, the snow so I don't I'm gonna decorate for Christmas but I don't want to completely just redo my island for Christmas because I don't want to do the snow that long your island is cottagecore okay um um so it depends on the color scheme of your flowers 
carry as to when I, like, my flowers, my island is like a cottage fairy core. It started out supposed to be cottage core, and then it went to fairies real quick. <laughs> I'm not complaining, that's just how it happened. So, um, if you have the lighter colors like I do for your flowers, I would say that dawn would be a good time for you to save too because the early light of the day is really pretty on on my island. Um, and fall is really beautiful in cottage core if that's what you're thinking about doing. So is spring. Um, but, like, your flowers are always going to be the same color. So, really, it's just what, what color grass you prefer. Mm, I kind of like this path. It goes here and there. It's not too much. It's not too little. Might finish it out. Whoops. To the edge over here since I did it to the edge over here. I keep pushing the plus sign instead of the X. Yeah. Okay, so the yellow and white with a few green mums. Personally, if that's if that's the color scheme you went with, I would probably go for summer or spring because the yellow and white looks so good with the really green grass. But I'm sure it'll look beautiful it looks beautiful in the fall too, to be honest. It's definitely a personal preference. And definitely check out like um set your switch time to like five AM and see what you think about dawn, because it's really pretty. Does it feel like there's something missing in that empty space right there in the middle? Or does that feel justified between the areas? Maybe, I think I have some custom designs that could help us out. Yes. So you can't access those while you're in design mode, but you can exit that and access them that way. Maybe. Yeah, that works for me. I like, I like. I did have an Amazon package saved, which would also be cute with this setup, but I don't have it anymore because I wasn't using it, so... I like this. The event with the Mardi Gras like clothes was Festival. That was in February. Okay, so we've got Sprocket, Santa's workshop going on out here, the factory. We're going to work on the factory on the lower floor of his house and then give him a robot bedroom of some sort. I like this. It's kind of cluttered, but I feel like Santa's workshop would be this time of year. I 
Let me check the time. Oh my goodness, we're almost out of time. I spend a lot of time doing outdoor decoration and forget that I've got to cram in indoor decoration. Should we do 8 by 10 maybe? Let's do 6 by 8, make a smaller room. I'm not sure that I have any Christmassy wallpapers because I haven't done Christmas on this island before. Do you have curtain walls? I don't even know what kind of Christmas Eve wallpapers there are. Oh, you know what? We can do custom designs. I think I have a Christmas design. Mm, let's see. Maybe not, because I have, I did a Christmas in July event for Dina, with Dina's group. No. And since July, I've done many, many things that I did not need those for. I think we can make this work. It is, in fact, Santa's workshop, so it doesn't have to be... Like, we could do the snow. Ugh. Just don't love it. That looks weird. Where is the old board flooring? The top, probably. Leopard floor. Haha, ha, that was funny, right? We don't need red on red. I do kind of like this wallpaper, so. There's the red brick. Old board. I think we're going to stick with that. We're going to get some of these going that are green because there is no red. Not that I want everything in the room red. I was just going to do some of each. Okay, we're going to put these. Is this customizable? Yes. These also green. And we're going to put these between... The conveyor belts. And leave him a space to walk into there. Can I put the anything? Yes. What's your favorite Toy Day toy from the Toy Day, the Christmas Toy Day stuff? I have favorites of each toy. Like, the pink robot's my favorite robot. We need one more color. We haven't done yellow yet. Okay, so we got... Yeah. Um, definitely check out the seasons. Check early morning, Carrie. I think... Do you like to go by Carrie or Carrie Lou? I don't want to call you the wrong thing. Um, I think you'll find that... Um, 
both of them will look great if you check them out and you want to do the early morning save. Um, what's this? A model kit? Sure. Model kits? Okay, something Santa Claus would make. Let's see. Oh, we can put those. Are they customizable? Okay, yes. Perhaps we'll do the kits on the conveyor belt and the boxes of the kits on the ground. I kind of like that idea better. It's not so tall. Do they look better in the middle, maybe? And then offset these to the right. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I like to check with people. I don't want to be calling you something that doesn't fit for you. I really like this so far. See what other factory type stuff he might have here for us that we could add to it. This amazing machine is pretty interesting. Um, may or may not have room for this here. Maybe here. Yeah. Let's make it colorful like the rest of the room. I really like the blue. Make this match our conveyor belt. It's the inspection machine. I mean, this doesn't scream Santa's workshop. But it also does scream like factory, which is what he wanted. We could add some more stuff in between, but I do like to make the room passable. Let's see. Let's add a Christmas tree or something. So we can give the... Robo Elves, some Christmas cheer. We're going to add one of these because they're great. I'll change the color in a sec. I have to keep an eye on the time because I have to go pick up my little dude soon. I'm going to go a little bit over, but I can't just leave him at school. As tempted as that could be sometimes. Let's try the bigger tree. Nope. I think gift piles will make up the space that we need here. I love that the gift piles aren't only Christmas colors, so that if you have a more cottagecore island 
or if you have a birthday and you want the presents, um, you could do them multiple different colors. Let's see. I think it has enough of a Santa's workshop feel. Let's turn this on. It's interesting. Told you it was interesting. Some of them, the bubbles and stuff are different colors. I wonder if this thing turns on. Well, the robots do, but does the robo arm? The robots don't stay on. Let me move this robot and see. Okay, yes. Okay. In fact, let's just do this orange one to put back there. Okay. I do want to get the rocket ship back, though. Oh, Carrie's a pretty name. All right, I think we successfully made him a robot factory and turned it into Santa's workshop. I'm happy with it. What kind of bedroom does a robot have? Let's see if we can figure out in 10 minutes. It's too bad there isn't something that appears to be a charging station. That would be neat. So instead of him going to bed, he charged. <laughs> but there isn't anything that looks like that. So I think this probably is pretty industrial looking. Let's go with the blue. And I didn't do my wallpaper first because I honestly just don't know what kind of wallpaper to give the guy. Um, I could have gone with the industrial wall downstairs, but I wanted that Santa's workshop feel. Does anybody know if the crown wall comes in red? Because I could have swore it did, but I can't find it in red. I want it in red. Um, circuit board wall is pretty robot-y. Isn't there one that, like, lights up that Graham had in his house? This one. Mm -hmm. There's a flooring that goes with this. I just don't know if I have it in my catalog. No. Nope, apparently not. But I think this flooring might work. That's kind of neat.
Mm. I think my lack of time is making me feel a little rushed here. I love the rain wall. It's one of my faves. It's odd. And I like it. That's a new one. Let's go with the rain. And we want one of these simple pillars because they come in different colors. No. Whoops. I think I'm going to go with a taller counter, but I did not want white. I'm not sure how to set this up as a bedroom with this wall. This doesn't feel very homey to me. I just don't love it. This works for me. No, why do I keep doing that? There we go, we don't even have to change the back one. It just kind of gives it some depth, actually. I feel like I can do better with this wall. And some flooring that matches it. Sorry guys, I really had to keep track of the time. I have five more minutes. Sorry that it doesn't look like we're going to be able to finish this build, but we'll get as close as we can. So we got a room for a robot.
wonder if there's a table that would look decent with um, that crazy looking chair right there. Definitely not a low table. <laughs> to say the least, it's a tad interesting. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of would like a smaller table so that we can do like a little... corner set up here I think is what we're gonna do so we're gonna go at the cool table don't like that So let's give him a partition to kind of put his bedroom private. I, I honestly don't hate this. And I thought that I was going to really dislike building a more industrial house. Do you know how to get giant teddy bears? They are craftable. Giant teddy bears are a craftable item. Um, I probably have the DIY on one of my islands. If you don't, I can try to help with that, Carrie. Um, Spray can. That's probably what he needs to keep his joints going good. Um, so let's do this one that looks like the Tin Man might use it. And we'll put it on his side table so that he doesn't get rusty. It blends into the side table. There we go. Yes, the giant teddy bears are craftable. Um, when I get back from getting my son, I can message you if you still need it. I've got to go. What do you guys think about Sprocket's factory slash toy shop? And this is his robo bedroom. I like it. This isn't my style at all, but I like this. Um... I'm going to turn it in here because I like his bedroom better than I like the downstairs. Well, we have to drive there, son. It's a ro she's a robot bird. He. I like him. He's unique. I would... Yeah. <laughs> Krista, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely not normal, a normal style I would go for, but I kind of like it. Do what? I 
I really like those chairs. They kind of look like robots themselves. Yeah, he seems to love it. Take a few more pictures. Okay, make sure that I save the one that I want to save before I take more pictures. Yes. It's like the break room, but he sleeps in it. <laughs> Chris said, the only time I've heard of people having a paradise planning thing where the vacationer didn't love it, it was where they did not use the items that they requested. So as long as you use what they requested, um, they should love it. I feel like sometimes they give me vibes that they love it more when it's more their theme. I don't like it. I don't like the noise. What is that noise? It's a factory. It has factory noises. You are going back to school tomorrow, little boy. Eh. And the Santa's workshop aspect of it. Let's move him. I want him to look like he's working. He's Santa's robot elf. This He's wearing a worker outfit. All done. Gotta move him to tell him bye, though. Luckily, they're magical, and you don't have to um, make everything... You don't play enough to merit the DLC. Okay, Krista, what I would say is most people really could benefit from the DLC. Please don't touch my computer. Um, the DLC is for everyone who's into it, who's gotten out of it, because you can do small themed areas and take that inspiration back to your island personally. That's how I feel about the DLC. I feel like it's great for newbies because you can build your catalog faster. You can get access to new items quicker instead of just relying on your nook's cranny. I feel like um, you have access to a lot of villagers if you're looking. Somebody has said that um, they had an empty plot and they were talking to one of the happy home clients and they wanted to move to their island. Um, but I think the DLC is really for everyone. People that really enjoy big designs and people that really enjoy small designs. Everybody can get something from the DLC. Um, I would elaborate more on that, but I have to go. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Thanks for chatting. Carrie, I'll get with you about that giant teddy bear when I get back. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will be back Thursday since I could not stream tomorrow, so I'll see